talk about the Project Watch, this is Sir P. Now, today, we're talking about West Kingston. You see, last year there was a major decrease in murders in the division. Right? But right now, it looks like things are about to get spooky. Right? So, we talk about it, I'm also going to give you an example right, of just how bad things can get and a story that involves some individuals from West Kingston that not even the craziest director in Hollywood could come up with. It's around Speed Boy and Liberty. That's the brother of Dodos. Before I'm going to further, I want to send a special Patreon radio shout out to Kenny G. No, not the brother will play the saxophone, but this is the Patreon squad, Kenny G. Kenny, today especially, I'm going to say, if you're going to have a video, hope you enjoy yourself, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, big up yourself, big up your family. More than I've seen, the Patreon squad, alright, PIA, where I wish Kenny G happy birthday. Alright, come over into the video. As I said last year, West Kingston saw right, a decent right, decrease in murders. This year, 2023, the division already see a 67% decline in murders for the first two weeks compared to the same time period in 2022. But this is a place that can go from 0 to 100 very quickly. Right. This was well, Remember people that say, oh Zozo don't work and Zozo don't have nothing. Well, the numbers speak for themselves. As I said last year, murders were down. And one thing with the Zozo them, it's like with the SOE. When they're in place, people ball and say, right, they don't want it. But then, when it's gone, people ball and say, bring it back. Right. So, people said this don't work and that don't work. But, looking at the data, last year alone, right, West Kingston, right, so a major improvement in reducing murders. But nobody cares about facts. Narrative is more important. You see, West Kingston is a place where even though the names them change, uh, the acidity amongst the 87 is the same. the same. Right, right now, some new stand names are called. Back in the day, they hear about the Zion train and the Nuno Post and them people. Right? Now you hear about Nero Blocks and them you them. Right? The Scream Gang from then and on, they are still at it with the Coke family. Coke family, based primarily in Tivoli Gardens, Scream on them, right? Then and on. You see, then and on was always hanging on by a thread, even when Dodos was around. The image of him being an all powerful Dan, right? With us have total control and nobody, right? No go against him saying, everybody. Did love and support him is largely fairy tales. Right? This is what it looked like from the outside, but internally, West Kingston, Arwell Garden, then Anton, you know, Tivoli was always fragmented. Right? People are running over so, people are over so. Now, that was what they done, right? but on everybody, he did have complete control over. Even in his own family, right? there was a lot of loose cannons. As you see, what happened? With people like Chris Royal and their Monday, no no post on their Monday. Many major attacks were carried out right, behind Dodo's back. That's not how it works when you have complete control. Right. Anyway, let me give you an analogy. Then Anton was like, you know, you have a girl who don't really want a man, right? But the man, right, he's very persistent, right? Sometimes the man even buy her some things, and you know, you know so nice are up every now and then. So, she stick around. As soon as she hears her carry it on the man, and in can't move, she pack up everything and run gone. She don't want to live long time. So then Anton stay. There was always some problem for then Anton and the quote unquote system, right? Presidential click system. During the Tivoli incursion, most of the focus was, as you can expect, on garden. This made it easier for them relocate their guns to the Nantown. Remember everybody last said, where the gun them there? Where the gun them there? How oh, come we not find a gun in the Valley? President Chocolate there? People were saying this don't even know the layout of the Valley or the Nantown. Right. You see, the man them could move going to the Nantown easy using complex channels that the security forces didn't even know about. 
some lanes and even some drainage that could make man seem to disappear in the thing here. Man just go here and disappear and he look like say him gone. He, gone like, he look like say him turn Casper, the friendly ghost has vanished. But some look lay and some look choppy. Right? Drain is under here, so jump to so you can't run, go down the road, pop up back right there. So, right. people outside of Tivoli, people outside of West Kingston, never know about them something. So, even time they have the world about gun them, right. the hell of a big shootout incursion. When time they realized say, they were on the losing side and the 87s them simply weren't built for that type of combat, the man them could simply move them weapons. Right. And then, even though the big search in go on at Tivoli, right. Of the gun them lock off, then I didn't turn. If so much gun the round there, how could they not find them? Alright. So, after they didn't turn, that no the gun them. Right, and Tivoli was temporarily weakened. And new star youths from then and turn, who were already on the rise, this I say, they now send back certain guns and they not attack. Then Mr. Then and Tone, they just a wait for an opportunity to cut. You see, this new wave of youth will come up from Denantro. The residents them agreed with Freedom's stance. Right? It was seen as time for the community to get the same shine as Tivoli, who was the more popular of the two. Right? You have Tivoli and Denantro, right? but Tivoli was the more popular one. More of everything go to watch Tivoli. Denantro and people them, they basically feel like they were the middle child. You know, the middle child can often feel like so nobody really check for them and they're really special. One of the main people leading the Denantone uprising was a youth called Patrick Davis, aka P Boy. He was a mass murdering 87, similar to the sci fi's and the JJ Nakis. I have too much victims to count. Despite all of this, he was very popular in Denantone, especially among the ladies. P Boy was known as a gallist. Don't know, uh, enough of the girls them wanted a piece of the quote unquote done. Right. He was seen as the face of the downtown badness right, that was taking the fight to the court family because by now, right, why jump off, man, see them now, stand back on a gun, the night in attack, move from right there, so your time up. You know, got ready. Remember, in a bad man place, 87s have all the guns. When a gang passed through and shoot up a lane, People can't defend themselves. The residents don't have their gun. Right? And the police them can't be everywhere to protect them. Right? So you know they them say call police say how fast my take from each. So local 87s who can take on right, the invading gang right, get popular among the residents. And by the residents them can't shoot back. And they have gunmen at the place or criminal, but them will shoot back. So now people start looking towards the gunman as well, even though he's a murderer too, right? He might shoot back off at the boy them. So, you know, people start to take towards criminals. This is how a uh, weak justice system, this is how the government, when they fail to protect residents, actually push them towards criminals. And especially because the residents are unarmed and can't help themselves. I'm telling you all that guy already. Right? People can't help themselves, they want help from somebody. They start to pick the lesser of two evils. As long as they kill people outside the community, residents will tolerate people like P-Boy and even shelter them. The people that run it before, as in Denantone, were working on behalf of the system, as in you know, guide them into the system or climb them into the system. Right. They're basically people who put presidential clicks interest first. But P-Boy was seen as a local youth who, you know, have dead and torn on him back. And female interest was dead and torn and not Tivoli and President Chaklik and the Koch family first. As P Boy's status grew, he would become even bolder. You see, killing a man in West Kingston is easy. This is because they so they can control more variables, as Dennis Brooks once infamously said. Out of town, things a bit harder. But this never stopped P-Boy, especially considering who the target was this time. Every time I think about this incident, right, it's mind-blowing that it actually happened. Right? If you try telling somebody this story right, in another country, 
who is not familiar with you know serious gang warfare, right? They might tell us a unicorn, yes. Yeah, but it's real. You see, Pete Boy had many victims, but the most prized of all would be a member of the Coke family. P-Boy got the intel that Liberty, right, this stuff will get killed. That's Libo, brother's brother. You know, Libo Records, you've heard that in a song before, right? Yes, Liberty had female record company too. You know, like the snake and all them. Yes, Liberty was in a music too. He was frequenting Helsha a lot with theme kerosene. Stop a kickback and a live life like same thing say. He was just a regular working civilian. You know? Start to forget some of his deeds in the past, but tell him that he got ready in a badness. Right. You might think say, alright, I left out certain things. I'm tired of this now, I'm done with this now. I'm going to start, chill out and enjoy some life and done with too much misery, too much tears, too much death and destruction they're behind people like Liberty. So even time he more and cool out, people not making cool. Him all enemies then. I try to look for him. To settle all scores. People are them get the word from him location. He and his girl out there one weekend in 2017. I think it was end of April or early May, something like that. Out of nowhere, here comes P Boy and his motley crew of 87s. Right up. Now, while P Boy was undoubtedly a murderer, he was still a typical 87. But you know, for them thing already. Gunshots start fire like crazy. Liberty and him kerosene would be dead if P Boy them were more efficient and accurate with them fire because they catch him by surprise. But they weren't. As me say, typical 8017. Liberty and them in a one piece of cat and mouse else. Until Liberty end up speed off. P boy them start chase Liberty. I wanted to remember, this is not a video game, this is not a show. This played out on the streets of Iron Man. Liberty Gateway, after the initial shooting, shot a fire back and forth, left and right. All over the place. Liberty drive off. People by them start chase Liberty. Liberty calls for backup from the central village 87. Then. Backup. And then the police say we need backup behind that fire. Liberty called for backup. The whole time people by them are trying to ride him down. But Liberty care faster than people by them bike. So people of them can't catch him. Liberty care to you squeal and I hit some notes. You would have seriously a Mariah Carey a sing. Yeah. What people of them lacked in accuracy yeah. and competency with a firearm, yeah. they made up for it in sheer determination to kill. Because you know how 87 is killed man already. Walk up to you and shut you at point blank range. Nine times out of ten, them catch you completely by surprise. By the time you realize I go on, I get shot. You're so close to them, that them don't even need that much accuracy or even aiming. They just point the gun in the general direction. So the man, they make up their mind, say them have to kill him. Even though it done gone bad already from Hillshire's side, right? and him a gateway, and it's very risky if you run down a man on the road, on public roads, right, with gun to try to kill them back. They can buck up in the police at any time. People who are them decide they not give up. Them chase Liberty all the way from Hilsha to Central Village. If you don't know Ironman set up, matter of fact, I can't help you. Go up on Google Maps. Go up on Google Maps and type in Hilsha, St. Catherine. Then type in Central Village and check the distance on that. People who know Hilsha know St. Catherine. You know how extraordinary that would have been to somebody ride down a man right, from Hilsha, the central village, at right, a fire shot. That happened in real life. As soon as Liberty reached village, him finally collapsed. 
because I missed him pick up round, so you know say. Right. You reach a village and collapse. It's come like him body say, alright, you reach now, you can go on. You can you can you can knock out now. The same village where him call back up, his body held out. Right, and didn't faint until him reach. So by now P boy them a catch up. To kill him. Right. I ride him down see me. My name Depan Mandela. RPM span the bike to the roof. P boy they must have thought this is it. Why did they know? But the real life show wasn't over yet. You know in time you watch a movie and you say, boy that show you a wild man. And then out of nowhere something happened to make it wilder. Here comes Central Village 87. Run out from Mandela and start shoot off a P boy them. P boy them would ride down, liberty to kill him. I catch up to kill him and then village man them who liberty did call beforehand right, to help him. Cause like he make up his mind so they say my head towards. He know never done make it to anybody. So I call him allies then. Don't know village man them link with guard the money for a long time. Certain man like bigly and them man, the man they link with guard the money for a long time. Village man them start to call people at them. People at them ride right into the ambush. But just like they fail at the land, any real serious hit on liberty, or at least life threatening hits. Village man them fire up a bag of shot up a people at them. I don't kill him either. So people of them get away. The village man them then carry liberty to Spanish Town Hospital. At no point throughout any of this, none of them book up none of the police. A gun attack that started in Hellshire and down in a central village. And people of them even left and gone on the business. Not one of them book up in the police. Extraordinary. Imagine that playing out on the streets of Ireland. You can't make this up. Imagine how many vehicles them pass. Imagine how many random civilians them fly past. Luckily, nobody loses them life. Now, remember P Boy and his Gallus image. Well, he was involved with Titi Man Kerosene. That's Dodo's son, aka Titi Monster. This was a fatal error on his part. P Boy. Start brag, say him a quote unquote kill Titi Monster Girl. This was a flex. You know, his enemy. He's having, you know, relations of the intercoursal manner with his enemy girl. You know, Iron Man love brag about him. Yeah, man. You know, say me a kill the boy girl. Yeah, man, man, a real girlish man. He thought he had the edge on the Titi Monster. But in reality, he was the one getting played. He knew about it all along. The encourager to keep giving him eagle eye and make him get comfortable. And that's exactly what happened. Now, I know say, no man can't freeze away. I mean, so he knows the next man, he knows the next man I'll be, I'll get in girl and I, I'm not hurt, I'm not. You way people say business first? Well, look like Titty Monster said badness first. He was willing to make his enemy continue. Right? Relations of the intercourse of honor. Just to make him enemy. Get sloppy. She invite P boy on a little spot. She invite him for a lizard lap session. Half time the back shot, front shot, side shot. P boy make him little head take over. The guy the money already had the drop on him. They know which part he's never there. They know where he's never reach. As in turn up, things got ugly for people. It was finally time right, to live up our liberty. Get revenge for the hell shot attack. Man, they start joking him up right away. Cramp him so he can't run. Right. Then they move him back to them torture spot. But them deal with people are wicked. He was brutally beaten and tortured. Right? Juke him and yeah, them and all kind of things. Even at the casket, them left to do certain, you know, cosmetic things to make him look more presentable. Right? This was 
gang war is so badness at this ugliest. But them could just kill him from the little spot, which part him need to meet a right, titty monster girl. They could have killed him and left him. But I guess they wanted to torture him first, inflict some serious pain on him before him go. And carry him body go dump over Rockford side. His reign came to a painful end. Right. At the hands of the same man he failed to kill right, in Hilsha, about a year or so prior. P Boy didn't crush his enemy totally. After the daring attack in Hilsha, right, his you know, street cred actually increased. People have said that was an extraordinary right, attack. And the fuck say, you know, let me say, him, him, riding down all the way to Central Village, then buck up in a village, man, them. You know, people were fascinated with the story. You know what I mean? So the man ride him down, and the man go in the car and go so, whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I mean? can't the excitement already. But Mr. P boy didn't crush his enemy totally because Liberty was still alive. Like many 87s, P boy's youth and energetic nature made him deadly. But Liberty had more experience. Liberty waited out. The Coke family waited out. Them no say, only a matter of time. Must start slipping. The same way Liberty got caught slipping, them know the people they also get caught. I noticed the two men them, no gun man dead either around them woman or set up by a woman. Because that is when men are most distracting. If a one thing me know, can make a man drop him guard, is some good nigga life. Whether I'm thinking I'm going to get it or I'm just get it. This had been the case before Wapi and Philip even born. Anyway, Liberty has now left Ironman. The justice system tried many times and failed many times to get him. He's gone through the border. He only left my ninja man in border clash. You see, Liberty knows the same look couldn't last forever. Remember, this is somebody who went years being untouchable. Matter of fact, the Quok family in general for years was untouchable. Not anymore. Right now, them regularly get attacked. Some of them have even been shot. But that would never happen back in the day. But let me tell you now how them things they work. Remember, Mike Tyson used to be the most feared boxer in the world. People used to lose the fight before they go into the ring. That's how feared Mike Tyson was. Until one day people seen get knocked out. Until one day other boxers seen get knocked down. And them say, oh, oh, he's, he's human being after all. Suddenly, people get confident and Mike Tyson start get punched up all about the place. That's what happened with the Coke family. Back in the day, the Coke family was like this big, you know, superhuman-like family. Now people say, oh, regular flesh and blood. Anyway, right? Buck Lister. Anywhere them buck, Titty Monster. Anywhere them buck, Mama T. It's on. Better go on right now. This might sound like there are thousands of people shooting at each other. That's not the case. It's a minority of people causing the majority of the trouble. And the security forces, the government, need to disrupt their activities. Especially considering, say, we're now seeing some serious progress in West Kingston. Numbers are going down. The last thing you want is to regress. Anyway, my latest one, right just for now. Big chance squad be open the cell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. No life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.